Good morning and welcome to another day in Orlando. We're here at Endless Summer at the Dockside Resort, which is really, really nice. We've been really enjoying this. Yesterday, we actually had a completely relaxed, chilled day. I did vlog a little bit of that and I'm also gonna be adding in when I go to Target. So if you're interested in seeing that day, it's over on my other channel, Victoria in Detail. And um, I occasionally put one vlog up over there if it's not a day that we've gone to the park. So please do head over there if you want to see that one. But today we are off to Universal. I'm wearing blue because Ravenclaw is my Hogwarts house. Let me know in the comments what your Hogwarts house is because I'm always interested to I'm know. Slytherin. Are you Slytherin? Yeah. God, I mean, there's nothing wrong with being a Slytherin, obviously. No, Slytherin. Um, if you guys don't know what your Hogwarts house is, if you just Hogwarts. Google Hogwarts house quiz, then you will find a quiz. You can find out what you are. You'll either be Gryffindor, Slytherin, Ravenclaw, or Hufflepuff. So let me know in the comments which one you are. So we're going to be heading across there in a little bit. I'm just uploading a video. We're going to go downstairs, grab a Starbucks. We're going to head off probably like midday, and then the parks close at nine. So we'll have plenty of time there. And Catherine is going to ride Velocicoaster. Yeah, lovely. It's 45 minute wait so far, which is really good. And we're yeah. going to kind of go on Hagrid's maybe. Yes, Depending. maybe towards the end of the day because it's yeah. a 120 minute wait currently. Yeah, very so, exciting because I couldn't yeah. fit on rides back when I came last time because I've lost like nearly 10 stones. I'm really excited to ride rides I can finally fit on. Yes, for any of you who didn't know that, um, you can go over to Catherine's channel. She's very much documented her journey with that. And like she was saying before, she wasn't able to get on some of the rides and now she can. So she's gonna be doing a vlog all about that. So I will link her channel below. We're gonna do the Bourne stunt show again because Catherine hasn't done that and I loved that last time at Universal Studios. Yeah, and I'll take you around, show you what's going on. I think last time we were there, is it Mardi Gras at the moment, I wanna say? Maybe, I think actually. it might be. Yeah, it might be. Yeah, I feel like it is. It's that time of year. Yeah. Or have I got that wrong? I don't know, we will see. Maybe I've just totally invented that. Maybe it's in the spring. Anyway, I don't know. We're gonna go and get Starbucks and um, I'll keep you updated with what we're doing. We're just gonna take a look in here to see if we want some breakfast and then go and get our Starbucks because Starbucks don't have a lot of choice for breakfast stuff. So they have like oatmeal and bagels and muffins and stuff. And it looks like they have... Oh, smoked salmon bagel and avocado toast. The avocado toast looks really good. Yeah, it looks, I think I get Oh yeah, they've got an egg and cheese muffin type thing. They have one with bacon. They've got hash browns. They've got some kind of breakfast burrito. Then they also have an all-American breakfast. They've got a kid's breakfast. They have French toast and pancakes. We've decided to grab our Starbucks first because I think that'll be easier and then the food won't go cold. So we'll just get the coffee and then I am going to have the avocado toast and some hash browns, I think. They looked really nice. I will say since we've been here the lobby is really busy most of the time sometimes it's a little bit quieter maybe it's because this massive group is here at the time that we are but I'm used to Disney resorts like during the day the lobby is normally really quiet and that's not the case here so we have our coffees Catherine obviously has the pistachio cold brew that is literally her every single day <laughs> coffee I actually got the pistachio latte today so I'll give that a try in a second Catherine has a smoked salmon bagel which looks good I don't like fish but as as a bagel goes that looks nice I have the avocado toast and some hash browns and I thought this was really reasonably priced for a resort hotel it was 8.52 for the avocado toast and the hash browns so for a breakfast I thought that was quite cheap good value really. yeah just gonna try this coffee it is good it's, it, it's very similar to the chestnut praline just that like, nutty flavor but I actually I'm not a huge fan of getting hazelnut put into like the normal syrup they have but any special ones they have that like nutty, I always really like, so that's really good. Catherine's like beyond obsessed with her <laughs> pistachio cold brew. So we're now gonna go upstairs. I'm just gonna check that the video is all good to go for tomorrow. That's the second Paris vlog. And uh, yeah, then we're gonna head off to Universal. And as you go out of the front of the hotel, to the right hand side is the bus stop. And there's a bus here waiting, so that's handy. And I should mention in terms of Universal tickets, we're about to go through the security here. I'm just waiting for Catherine. She's just doing a bit of filming over there. And um, with the tickets, you can buy them in the UK through various different ticket outlets. I actually buy mine through Undercover Tourist, which is a US website. And um, with that one though, if you're only gonna do two days at Universal, which I know I won't do more than two days, I think it was about £100 cheaper for a two day park to park ticket than it was for the UK 14 day ticket. 
Now, if you think you might do more than two days, I guess the 14 day one is best. But for me, like 100 pounds is 100 pounds and I know I won't need more than two. So just in case you do want to do Universal, but you know you're only gonna want one or two days, I will link Undercover Tourist in the description. I've used them before lots of times for Universal tickets and it's always been really good, always really easy. They just email it to you and then you just scan the ticket on your phone when you get to the gate. You don't have to pick up tickets or do anything like that. It just comes to you on an email and then you just go right into the park. So it's nice and easy. That's not sponsored or anything, by the way. It's just a company that I use and I have used for years. Just going through security there, they were looking in someone's bag because something weird, it goes through a scanner here. And um, there was a padlock in their bag, like a padlock and key. And the people in security were a bit like, uh, why do you have that? And um, I think they were getting her to explain it and they were like, well, just don't put it on anything or they'll cut it off. And I was picturing somebody like padlocking themselves to a ride that's closing, you know, like if you were staging a sit-in because you don't want your favorite attraction to close and you like padlock yourself to it or something. I was like, well, what on earth are they gonna do with that? Anyway, I'm sure some of the stuff they find in people's bags going through security, I can only even imagine. If you've never had a Cinnabon, please do so immediately. Yeah, they are so all, good. Yeah, the smell is wafting out. It's very, very good. So we're heading into Universal Studios Park first this morning. We're gonna do some stuff here, then head over to Islands of Adventure. Islands of Adventure closes at eight. And the weather today, by the way, it is so warm. It's 27 degrees. For the beginning of February, I just, I don't know, it's so hot. It feels so strange to us living in the UK. It would never be this warm at this time of year. And another must try if you haven't ever had it is a Voodoo Donut. This time of day is a good time because you do get a queue outside over here towards the end of the day when the parks are closing and at the moment there's no one here but honestly these donuts are so good and I wasn't going crazy this morning it is in fact Mardi Gras I was certain it was but I just I don't know I couldn't totally remember and they have a parade in the evenings where they throw beads and you can actually be on the parade floats as well I'm not sure how you do that I think you have to go to a certain place at a certain time of the day to say that you want to be involved in it I've never done that before but I know that you can do that I've never spotted this before as well they do have this how tall are you and they they have the attractions next to it so to avoid disappointment before you go in you can see what you are going to be able to ride or not before you actually head into the park there you go have a good one thank you when you enter the parks here they just scan the qr code on your ticket and then you just put your finger on the thing like the fingerprint thing like i showed you just there but yeah that's how they scan you into the park hey betty <laughs> thank you so Catherine has just gone off to ride Rip Ride Rocket because it's only a 10 minute wait. So there is no way I'm doing that. It terrifies me. It only has a lap bar and it goes upside down. So that is a firm no for me. In a second when she's done, she's going to meet me back here and we're going to see the Bourne Stuntacular. Love this. I did it for the first time the last trip and it's really, really great. And for now, I'm just going to go in a couple of the stores along here while I wait for Catherine to ride that ride. Quite often, I don't get time to look around a lot of the stores in Universal, so it'd be good to see what they have. And this is the Beverly Wilshire Hotel, which is where Julia Roberts stays in the movie Pretty Woman, if you've seen that. And with being next to the Bourne Stuntacular, and I think this is where you exit as well, they do have some of the merchandise for that. And they also have a lot of this Universal Studios neon range, which to me is kind of the retro Universal Studios type stuff. They also have these glasses that have, um, you've got Kong there, as in the old Kong ride, because they used to be a different one to the one they have now. Then they have this Jaws one as well. I do miss Jaws, I have to say. I absolutely love Jaws. And they have an ET one. I might want to ride that today because I haven't done that the last couple of trips. And I feel like this mug is just completely classic Universal Studios as well. They also have this mug. This is very much their newer kind of merchandise range that they have. They have this hoodie in that design. And they have this pink spirit jersey that I don't think is actually spirit jersey brand. It's just a similar type of thing. I do like the sequins on it though. Just seeing if there's a label. If it's spirit jersey, it should say on the side. No, so it's not actually spirit jersey brand. It's just a very similar type of thing. And the cost is $65, which is still kind of pricey, but it is less than a spirit jersey at Disney World. And they have this one as well, if you don't like the pink. I would worry about this in the wash though, to be honest. I feel like that would um, not be shiny once you've washed it, but maybe I'm wrong. And they have some pass holder items here as well. So they've got a couple of different shirts and they have some mugs here too. And they do have this kind of, it's, I think it's like a windbreaker type jacket with pass holder on it. It's so hot today that I'm actually sweating. I can't believe that. That's the first time this trip that I've felt that warm. It actually feels like May or something. Like this is so warm. And we've got Homer and Bart here doing a meet and greet. Homer actually appears to just be doing a dance more than meeting a greeting. 
They also do have the horror makeup show. That's something that I haven't done very often. If it was a busy day in the parks, that might be something that would be good to do. And they have show times throughout the day. And just to let you know the description, it says, see how top makeup artists create amazing special effects from Hollywood's greatest monster movies. It does say though, warning due to mature themes, parental discretion is advised. So I'm not sure exactly what they mean by that. Maybe I should do this at some point and let you know who I think it would be appropriate for or not. I might just see if I can go and grab a water somewhere to stay hydrated. I love the outside of this store. When I first came in 2002, I think this was actually a store that was open, but it's not anymore. Let's see if I can get a drink in here. And I love the decor in here. It is kind of very old school soda fountain vibe. So just to let you know, they have Dole Whip in here. Dole Whip Pineapple Sorbet, the actual branded Dole Whip, the same as at Disney. I did not know that. And the cost of the water has hit new levels. It's $5.50 for a bottle of water. That is really, really ridiculous. I think I might get a Powerade because it's the same price. And just to show you the ice cream flavors in here, you can get chocolate, coffee chip, mint chip, pralines and cream, Rocky Road, cookies and cream. They also have strawberry and vanilla. I must admit, if I was going to get ice cream at Universal, I would probably go over to Florian Fortescue's in Diagon Alley. That is my favorite ice cream you can get there. Okay, it's time to head over for the next showing of the Bourne Stuntacular. I can't vlog in there, I can't show you any of the show, but I will show you a bit of the queuing area and we'll get Catherine's opinion afterwards because she's never done this before. So what did you think of Rip Ride Rocket? It's very, very intense. It's such a good ride and it was only a 10 minute wait time. And I think because we didn't come the first thing in the morning, everyone goes there first. Yeah. It's a very good first ride, but it's very scary. And since I've lost weight, I've been in like the normal seat now, which I never used to do. And the seat was like, there was a gap, and obviously you go it vertically like this, and I was like, oh, holding it on for dear life no. like this. But very intense, very fun though. I do love a good thrill ride. Oh my gosh, no, it scares me. <laughs> And it's a lot quieter in here than it was last time I came. It was super, super busy. So we're all done in the stunt show and we're just off to get some food now. We're gonna go to the Simpsons area, I think, because they've got several different options there. That show was amazing, just as amazing the second time. I think I would do that every single time I come here. It's so impressive. Yeah, Catherine's obviously seen it for the first time. Yeah, you loved it, it was the best stunt show I've ever seen. I wasn't, I had no expectations and it totally blew me. <laughs> like Victoria literally said to me, whatever you're imagining, it's going to be better. And she was totally right. So. Yeah, it is. Whatever you think it's going to be, it's better than that. It's so impressive. It went tech halfway through. So I wasn't really sure what was happening, but it suddenly like stopped. Yeah. And somebody came out and they were telling us some facts about the screen and how the show is done, just what they got it back up and running. And I thought that was a really professional way of doing it with it going yeah, wrong actually, halfway through. I liked that they had that, because then we got yeah. like the facts of the screen. Like yeah. the screen is a 4K retina display, which is a size, half the size of a football pitch. So it was really interesting. Yeah, yeah, we did actually get to learn some interesting facts yeah. um, when it went down, because I'd never thought about that, what they would do if it goes wrong halfway through, because it is a very like advanced kind of way of doing a show. So I guess it does go wrong sometimes. But now let's go and get some food. I'm kind of hungry now. Like I was saying, it's been a while since I've eaten in here and they do have several different options. So they've got Lisa's Tea House of Horror. Then you have Luigi's Cletus's Chicken Shack, the Frying Dutchman, and also Krusty Burger over there. Strike that, we are immediately walking back out because it is so busy in there. So we're gonna go and try and find somewhere else. So we're just gonna go and ride ET real quick because we're right here. So it makes sense to ride it before we eat. And we're not really sure where we're gonna eat. We'll just have a little walk around and see what doesn't look too, too busy. Okay, here we are. What is the wait time? It is 15 minutes, that sounds good to me. And when you go on this ride, I don't know if they still do it, but ET is supposed to say goodbye to you by name at the end. I'm not sure if that element is still here, but we will see. And sometimes it doesn't work and he ends up saying goodbye to you, but calling you a different name if it goes wrong. That also happens. I love the queuing area for this, where you feel like you're in a forest. It's so awesome. And they did take our names at the beginning. The cast members are so quick at taking your name on this ride. So let's see whether ET does actually say goodbye to us or not. I had one of these. <laughs> How old does that make me? I don't want to think about it. Catherine was just saying you kind of get Pandora vibes in here. You do actually, it smells a bit like it too. Celebrate with us! 
like they have a handy little section here just in case you've had enough of your family members wait no i don't think that's what that means oh are we gonna get a little shower i wonder it's looking a bit dark there i absolutely love that attraction i know it's not everyone's cup of tea um but for me it's just super retro and i really rate it i love it and i love to do things like that while they're still here because sometimes i've said this in disney they can suddenly announce that they're taking something away especially if it's old and then i feel really sad that i haven't done it for a while so i'm glad we did that and for food i think we've decided we're going to see about getting a baked potato over in front of diagon alley so they have a little um kind of kiosk outside and usually they do baked potatoes we're hoping they they still do because that'd be something quick and easy and it's quite congested walking through this area by Simpsons but they do have big construction walls up by the entrance the attraction is open but the big entrance where you normally walk through is behind these walls at the moment and they do have a lot of decor going on as you walk around the parks for Mardi Gras as you can see it's suddenly a lot easier to walk around for some reason it's always just crazy through that little bit there and we're just approaching what is definitely the most impressive part of the park we were just discussing actually if it wasn't for the harry potter stuff i'm not sure how often i would come here to be honest this is the big draw for me is diagon alley and hogsmeade over in islands of adventure and we're hoping this is still baked potatoes here they are kind of pricey i'm not gonna lie 10.99 for a jack potato but you know we're in a theme park i think i'm gonna get broccoli and cheese or do i want beans and cheese i don't know i want both obviously i'm not gonna eat both okay here is my baked potato and actually this is quite a large portion huge we've got to share it actually yeah it's kind of pricey for what it is so i did i'm glad i asked because i could get the beans as an add-on so i paid extra to get beans so the beans are on the bottom then the broccoli and the cheese it was 13.08 in total to be fair if you go to a quick service and get burger and fries and a drink and stuff, it would be more expensive than that. So um, this is actually quite a solid lunch. I'm pretty pleased with this. Mm, the well, beans are kind of not, they're not Heinz. They're not like British beans. Okay, that was actually a really nice thing to have for lunch. It was nice to have something like what I would normally have for lunch at home, but just be warned, the beans are nothing like the beans we get in the UK. So maybe get the broccoli and cheese if you were a fan of Heinz baked beans or similar, because they are not like that. I've actually had to get the fan out. That is how warm it is. We were sat in the sun and it is hot hot i honestly can't believe the heat at this time of year is crazy and i think now we're going to go and get the hogwarts express across to islands of adventure and the wait time is currently 35 minutes don't forget you will need your park ticket as well and you have to have a park to park ticket if you've just got one day one park you will not be able to hop between the two and you need to have it ready here so that they can check it thank you you can get a little snack while you're in line. And don't forget you have this optical illusion. You can basically watch the rest of your party going through the wall, which is really impressive. So this is where you walk through and people over there will see us disappearing. I love that they have this here. This is so awesome. Unfortunately, I can't record on here, so I won't be able to show you guys, but it is very impressive. You kind of have to ride it to experience the full thing, but yeah, sadly I can't show you. We're going to come back and do Hogsmeade a bit later, because we want to ride Hagrid's towards the end of the day. So we're actually going to go to the front of the park and ride Spider-Man. I think Catherine's going to ride the Hulk as well. And we'll probably get a little coffee or something to uh, keep us going while we're there, and then slowly make our way back around to here. So we're just heading in this direction and I was only saying to Catherine a minute ago when we were eating, I really need to try some of the table service places in this park. I think this one is a quick service, Fire Eaters Grill, but there are a couple of sit down restaurants in both parks and I've never really done them. So maybe on an upcoming trip, I will try and do that. I just came into this store briefly and this creepy picture is kind of making me wish I hadn't. What is going on there? 
and we're entering what always feels to me like the kind of vintage part of the park. I remember all of this from my very first trip and it just has not changed at all. While we're here we're gonna go on the um, trolley train ride because it's only a five minute wait. I don't know that I've ever done this to be honest. Super reliable, sound like all day and night audiomatic express. It can move like a cow. It can go moo moo moo. The trolley train can do it. Hey, how about you? Is there such a thing as an upside down sound? Ooh, listen to this. It goes swim swim swim. The trolley train goes when sounding all trafficy. How about you? Can you go big? Oh, the mighty trolley train makes a loud hullabaloo. It's the sound of fun. Can you make it too? Ooh, listen to this. What an ear full of luck. Oh, it's scary when you saw Oh, God. Yeah, don't look over yeah, the side. It's scary. Me and Mama are freaking out this time. That was actually really cute, and it's worth going on it just to see the view around the park. You get a really good view of the Hulk and everything. One thing I will say, if you have any type of mobility issues, like for me with my TM, that was actually difficult getting in and back out again. Um, it's quite high off the ground, and it's quite a narrow space. So I did struggle getting in and out of it just because of um, having to get my leg quite high up. So that was interesting. But yeah, it was really good fun. And one tip, don't look out over the side as you're going because it is actually quite high up and it feels like you're going to fall out. But anyway, I was glad to do it because I've never done that before. So we're going to head into Starbucks now. We're having our afternoon flag, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, we I start... want another coffee, but I'm going to yeah. go on first, I think. Yeah, just because riding a roller coaster when you've just got a coffee right in your stomach not the best idea. I had a horrible incident. Well, I didn't have a horrible incident. I witnessed a horrible incident in Animal Kingdom the other day. I felt so sorry for this guy. It wasn't a child, it was a grown adult. Um, he was sick, right by the tree of life, but he had clearly just like drunk coffee. Honestly, I heard just a gush and I do feel a bit traumatised by it. Yeah, and now, she has been saying like every time there's like a noise, she's like, oh. Every time there's a gush of water, I'm like, I feel like I'm genuinely traumatised by that. Anyway, uh, we're going to go into Starbucks now. Just trying to decide what to get. I think I might get some water and a hot coffee. I definitely need to wake up. Does anyone else think that kale and mushroom egg bites literally look like the grossest thing ever? Or is it just me? So I made it to Starbucks, just got myself a latte, just a regular one. I need to wake up and revive myself. I find at this point in the trip, even if you have like shorter days, you do get tired more easily because it's just like a build up from the whole trip. So like today we had a bit of a later start, but even walking around and getting to the afternoon, which is now, I'm thinking I need a coffee, I need to sit down, I need to revive myself. And it's actually been quite hot today and I find that when it's hotter, it does like take it out of you a bit more as well. You do feel the need to take breaks and stuff. So I'm just going to have this while Catherine rides and the whole, she'll probably then get a coffee. We'll spend a little bit of time in here because we want to be here all the way until night time. We're just going to have this little break now. And usually when I do things like this, I might put my headphones in and listen to a podcast or a bit of music or something. Just have a little break from the general crowds and everything that's going on. So it's nice to have a proper stop maybe for like half an hour or an hour even if you've got that time out of your day. Also, I was just rooting around in my bag and found my passport. I do tend to carry this around with me in case they ever need it for an alcoholic drink or for ID for anything. If you do carry your passport around though, put it in a little plastic bag like this, just in case you have a downpour or something and your bag gets wet. Even if your bag is pretty waterproof, if you get a heavy downpour, it might actually ruin your passport and you could have issues then with getting yourself home. So always put it in a little baggy thing. So I'm on the move again after my Starbucks. Catherine's actually gone to ride Velocicoaster. There is no way I'm riding that. That is entirely too scary for me. And um, now I'm just gonna walk around to meet her. I'm just gonna do a slow walk. There's something wrong with my ankle and my foot is hurting and I've been wondering what's going on. I didn't think I'd done anything to it. And I've just realized, I think what it is, I got an insect bite yesterday. I don't know how it happened. I was only outside for like two minutes and I suddenly realized I had it. And it's made my ankle swell. So I'm actually finding it hard to walk around this evening, which is a bit of a bummer. But hopefully I can make it just over to the Hogsmeade area and then back on the Hogwarts Express to Diagon Alley and then we'll probably head back after that. It does always seem strange seeing Marvel stuff here. They have a Marvel character dinner because I'm so used to Marvel being at Disney now with the Avengers campus and stuff. You can Google to find out exactly what the deal is with that but basically Universal had Marvel in the parks before Disney owned the rights to it and there are some complicated kind of ins and outs of Universal being allowed to keep what they have in the parks 
but Disney now own it so they're allowed to have certain things but not others it's all very complicated but if you're interested in that type of thing you can google it and find out all of the ins and outs of it we were potentially going to ride Spider-Man but because I ride this quite a lot I think we're going to give this a miss today and it's my favourite time of day in terms of lighting. I love when it's not quite dark but it's just getting dark and everything is starting to look very illuminated. And they do have a times board here so currently Hagrid's is 85 minutes and here are some of the others. So Forbidden Journey is 25 minutes, Flight of the Hippogriff is 60, that's kind of long, Kong is 25 Spider-Man 15, so the wait times are really not bad at all. And um, Velocicoaster is 45 minutes, Hulk is 15. So really these wait times are quite low I would say. And Ripsaw Falls is back in operation. This was down last time I was here and all of this had been drained, but it's definitely back again. I've seen lots of people walking around absolutely soaked. You do get really, really soaking wet on this ride. And also on the Popeyes Bill Drap barges, I think it's called, you get really soaked on there too. And I did ride Kong last time. Was it last time I was here or the time before? It's 25 minutes for this one and they do have a single rider line. The concept of this one is similar to the Fast and the Furious in terms of the ride vehicles, but this one's a lot better. I have to be honest, even though I love the Fast and the Furious movies, the Fast and the Furious ride here at Universal is not my favorite thing. And there goes Velocicoaster. And I think the Jurassic Park River Journey ride is currently down by the looks of things. It's behind some construction walls. I do love how they've kind of done this theming with Velocicoaster and got these big fences like in the movies. They've kind of got the ride like fenced in. It looks really good. Okay, this walkway is closed for some reason. I guess we have to go this way instead. Never been this way before. Okay, we have a rain shower. That might mean that it will clear a lot of people out of the park. Having said that though, I am not riding Hagrid's in the rain. I don't even know if it operates in the rain, but we will see. Thank goodness for Bin Journey is indoors, so at least we can ride that. Ooh, something smells really good around here. Where's that coming from? Guess Fire Eater's Grill. Whatever it is, it smells good. Okay, I've just headed in here to Honey Dukes because I really want to get some fudge and I think they sell it in this store down the other end. It's very busy in here because everyone's taking refuge from the rain. Ooh, tooth splintering strong mints. I'm not sure I want them that strong. But you can get yourself a chocolate frog bag, like a little shoulder bag. I think it's $70 though, that's kind of pricey. Things went a little crazy all of a sudden with this rainstorm. Catherine managed to ride Velocicoaster. She she is now in the queue for Forbidden Journey. I'm actually outside of Hogsmeade. It was so crazy there in Honey Dukes. It's really raining and it's not very pleasant. We're not gonna be able to ride Hagrid's in the rain. I'm gonna head towards the main entrance. Catherine's gonna quickly ride that. Then we're gonna head to get some food in City Walk and then head back to the resort. So I found myself a little spot to sit outside. It is very, very busy in the Starbucks. But actually this is under an umbrella, so I'm nice and dry. I just thought I'd show you the fudge that I got. I won't get them both out, but this one is the special that they have for Valentine's Day. It is chocolate strawberry flavor. So I got that one and I got a piece of the peanut butter one as well. So that looks amazing. I may have a tiny nibble on it now. We're gonna get dinner soon, but I am actually quite hungry. So I'm just gonna have a little bit. This is the most outrageous lighting ever. Animal damp and soggy from walking in the rain. But hey, let's give this a try. That is really good. It's actually a lot softer than normal fudge. It's a little bit like sticky, but tastes really, really good. So we're just heading out now and um, Catherine was just saying that Hagrid's is closed anyway. Most of the rides, yeah, most of the rides are now because of the rain. On the plus side, Catherine did get onto Velocicoaster just in the nick of time before the rain. What did you think of it? Amazing. <laughs> very fast like I was blown away it was super fast and it has these has like multiple points where it suddenly speeds up oh. and also it goes like right near the lake and you're upside down for ages and like you swoop around near the lake but I will say I did single rider and it actually took longer than the standby queue oh, okay. and literally if I went in a minute or two after I wouldn't have got on because it was like party two party two party four and the single rider was at a standstill for ages oh, okay. and then the rain happened as I was walking out. Oh you were so, lucky then. So lucky to ride it but it is amazing. If anyone gets the chance and you like big fast courses and it's so smooth because it's a modern course a bit like Guardians yeah uh, but more intense than Guardians. So safe to say if you're a bit of a wimp with rides probably oh, avoid. You wouldn't like it. The G-Force is very very strong. It's a lot better than Hulk though because I've just been on Hulk as well and that really throws you around. It's really rickety. Mm, it's you older. bang your ears. I thought my uh, earrings were going to rip out my head at one oh, point God. and I was trying to keep my head back but for Lost the Coaster because it's a more modern ride it's just so smooth so fast so intense 
exactly what you want in a roller coaster. It was amazing. I loved it. Good, good. So that's good. It sounds like my worst nightmare. So I'm glad you were here to give everyone the lowdown because there is absolutely no way I would do that. Um, so now we're going to go and get some food. We're not sure what yet. We're going to head over to City Walk and see what they have. We managed to get a little walk up and cowfish. I feel like my hair is just utterly out of control since so getting caught in the rain. And I've just ordered a nice hot cup of tea, which I feel like I am a bit too excited about. And we're sitting at the bar because it was reservations only. Um, but you can always ask if you can sit at the bar if you don't mind that. And then you can usually just walk in straight away. I am definitely going to get the cheese bagushi because I always do when I'm here. I love it. And I might get the parmesan fries as well. Last time I had that, it was too much food. I am actually hungrier this time than I was last time. And I just want them and I'm not even sorry. So I think that's what I'm going to get. Food has arrived, thank goodness. That took quite a while and we were getting oh, yeah. like... I'm about ready to eat my own arm. I know that happens a lot. Um, so I have got some fries here, which I was almost at the last minute didn't order them because I couldn't finish them last time, but I did. I'm kind of glad I did now that I'm so hungry. And here is my cheese bagushi. This is one of my favorite things to get on my Florida trips. It is just so good. It is, yeah, really, really delicious. It's very different as well, which I like. And Catherine has got a Chinese chicken salad. Yeah, it looks really good. Yeah, I'm just waiting for some really extra sauce. I hope yeah, I'm to get that sauce. Yeah, that was so good. I honestly love the cheese bagushi here so much. It's one of my favourite things. But now we're going to head back to end of summer. So when you're exiting Universal, you see up here is all the different parking lots and the Uber pickup. But if you're getting a bus back to one of the resorts, you just go to the right over here and down the escalator. And as you can see, getting the bus back to Dockside, very, very busy. And Cabana Bay is also quite busy down there. But if you look over here at Aventura, there is nobody waiting. So those are clearly a lot quieter. Okay, we've made it back to the room and it was super busy downstairs again. I think we are here at a very busy time, specifically for this hotel. It's like we were saying, I think there's big, big groups here um, of students. I think there's like a band group, like hundreds and hundreds of kids. So it's a very, very busy time here. And uh, we're just ready now to relax. I need to wash my hair, hate doing that, but it's gotta be done. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. And I don't know 100% whether or not we are gonna get back over to Universal. We were just looking and I think I've lost a day somewhere because we did have a rest day no, and then raining. Yes. So it'll be down just like it was today, tomorrow. So exactly. Days, rain. So we were looking at doing another evening, but if it's gonna rain anyway, we're still not gonna be able to do Hagrid's. We're still gonna have the same problem. So I don't know is the answer to that. We may or may not get back to Universal. If not, I will definitely be back on an upcoming trip. I do go to Universal not every single time, but most of the trips that I do, so I will definitely be back there again and in Florida you just cannot do anything about the weather when it does rain especially here at Universal a lot of the rides close down because they are outside so there's nothing you can do about that it just is what it is and we had a really good day anyway we just enjoyed doing all of the things we did we enjoyed the Bourne stunt show that was amazing yeah, yeah love that so much it's amazing I love doing the Hogwarts Express that's always super cute just a nice day wandering around I must admit whenever I'm in Universal it just makes me miss Disney the Disney parks are the absolute yeah. love for me i always just want to be back there and we're excited to go tomorrow because we need more epcot yeah, time it it's the magic best kingdom. yes and then the following day we are going to be going to magic kingdom in the evening because that also just has to be done at the end of a trip so i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog if you did if you could give it a thumbs up that'd be great don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and tap the bell icon to make sure you're always notified when i upload a new video a huge thank you to everyone who said hello today and throughout the rest of the trip i always love seeing you guys having a little chat with you it's so nice um so always do come and say hello if you see me so that's going to be it for this one thank you guys so much for watching and for always being so supportive liking commenting subscribing everything that you do i really do appreciate it so much and I'll see you in the next one bye and that was honestly 10 out of 10 I think that might be one of my new favorite snacks here at Disney it was really really good it doesn't look that exciting but it just tasted amazing it wasn't too sweet either